What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2 on my ultimate Volt Hunter motherfucking Q and A. Let's play Sunday. What? What? What, what am I doing here? I got it all mixed up. This is my Sunday Q and A, where I answer your questions, every single motherfucking one of them. And I figured, you know what? Since I'm doing a Q and A, well, Q and A Let's Play, and I'm also doing an Ultimate Volt Hunter mode Let's Play, why don't we combine the two this week? And have an ultimate Volt Hunter mode Q&A Sunday Let's Play. And I, I thought that would be a, a, a great way to uh, to pick this up, to go from here. Because I thought that, uh, you know, a lot of people were actually really enjoying the ultimate Volt Hunter mode. And it's going pretty good. We are kicking a little bit of ass. I'm going to get rid of this for a regular, uh, a regular damage infinity. Don't know why I had the corrosive on there in the first place. I don't even think I was using it last, uh, last video. But, like I said... You guys take the time out of the week to watch my videos, and the least I could do for you is to take that time out of my week and answer the questions for you. And we're supposed to be doing LEGO City Undercover right now, but there's a problem with the Wii U capturing on the uh, Elgato game capture that I use, so it's it's not looking like it's going to happen this week, because the problem that I was... Oh, shit. The problem that I was actually having... Is a very terrible one because there's no real answers for it. Is that my my footage from the Wii U keeps? Oh shit! 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 shit. It's an exploder. Get away from me! Yeah, blow up on the deception, motherfucker. I don't want to deal with that. But <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, when when you when you're dealing with like files that are corrupting, and there's there's nothing you can really do about it, then you know it, it's really hard to fix. There's a, it, it usually takes like, you know, two to three hours to export the videos to fix it because I got to go ahead and use a, god motherfucking damn it, I'm stuck. <laughs> but like I said, I got to use a video converter to take, you know, a two hour fucking file. Holy shit. Wow, that was a bad fucking shot. It is, uh, for those of you guys wondering, it is really late at night right now. It's probably like two, three in the morning. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker is pissing me off. I can't even get a hit on him. Whoop, there it is. And that, that did donkey dick to his shield. So let's go ahead and get him. Oh, shit. He's shrimping. He's shrimping. Get back here. Motherfucker. Shit. Whoop, there we go. Finally. So let's get into the first question, which is from JLS Madman. And he says, Mac, what is your favorite Borderlands 2 Easter egg? And I don't usually answer Borderlands 2 questions anymore because I've answered them a million times. But I'm going to answer this because, number one, I don't remember answering this ever. And number two, it's actually a pretty good question. It's got eight thumbs up on it. So let, let's go ahead and give him the uh, the floor right now. My favorite my favorite Easter egg in Borderlands is uh jesus christ we gotta we gotta get on our ball right now we gotta we gotta get i was drinking a shit ton of beer today and shit and this might be some very ugly gameplay because you can't even see it you can't see it but i just tried to reload my infinity that is uh that is how bad my reflexes are right now at the moment so yeah i don't think it's gonna be very fun fighting this motherfucking constructor up here that's gonna be absolutely fucking terrible and there's going to be a fucking exploder trying to blow up this bridge, and I don't want him to blow up the fucking bridge. So, there's going to be one right there. There should be another coming here. No, he's not going to show up. There he is. There he is. Whoa, we got one of them. And is there going to be any more? Is there going to be... No, is that it? Um, uh, come on! Did he already blow it up or something? I'm not sure that that's supposed to be like a timed event. There's supposed to be a loader that comes out right here and tries to blow up that console. And he's not coming out. But this motherfucker is coming out of the fucking... He's shooting behind him. Did you see that? That was fucking crazy. That's not supposed to happen at all. Boop. No. So, uh, anyway, yeah, my favorite Easter egg in Minecraft... Uh, a lot of people, Jesus Christ, a lot of people would actually guess that my favorite Easter egg would be the Minecraft Easter egg. 
because I'm a big Minecraft fan. I've played it for a very long time. I don't play it anymore because I played the game for like three years and it got fucking annoying because it was just, uh, you know, the same shit over and over again. I've already proved that I could build the best motherfucking shit in that game. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing left to prove. Because y'all motherfuckers can't build like me. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But honestly, my favorite Easter egg is in the Torg. The Torg DLC is fucking the, all the Guns N' Roses uh, Easter eggs, I guess. And I, you're going to be like, Guns N' Roses Easter egg? Well, uh, you know, they fucking Torg goes, Welcome to the jungle! You know, that's fucking Axl Rose and shit like that. You got to know who that is. But anyway, fucking... Uh, you got that Easter egg, and also, I think there's a mission called Appetite for Destruction, which is, uh, one of the fucking albums that Welcome to the Jungle is on. So, I, I think the Guns N' Roses references are probably, by far, my favorite ones in the game. So, let's go ahead and put that Corrosive Infinity back on, because we need to clean up our act right now. I am, I'm still a little bit buzzed from earlier. You know, I've been drinking the beers, you know, making mistakes out in the backyard. Those of you guys that follow me on Twitter know exactly what I'm talking about. But I, I think I think we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. We got things. We got to settle down. Settle down. We're only seven minutes in. We got a long time to go and a lot of questions to answer. So the second question is from 7upkid97. And he says, what's your favorite food? Type based off of the ethnicity. Uh, American food, because I eat it every motherfucking day. Uh, but if you want to know, like, you know, foreign ethnicities, I guess, it, it's a toss up between shit. Um, that's not good. Fuck, 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 fuck face, fuck face. <laughs> Get off me. Get off me. Nice. Uh, we're gonna have to take out these fucking robots real quick. Yeah, baby. Alright, so, uh,. It's a toss-up, though, between fucking Mexican and Chinese. Because, you know, Mexican food is amazing, but it makes me shit. And Chinese food is amazing, but it doesn't fill me up. It doesn't give me that filling fucking feeling that, you know, a big plate of lasagna or something would fucking offer. You just don't, you don't get that. You don't get that with the fucking Mexican food. I mean, actually, with the fucking Chinese food. I am sorry. That sounded... Oh, look! Get out of here, pepper nail! Look at this motherfucker. Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you, you're gonna get fucked up. Toss that. Grab myself some ruby. This is this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna just go. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Look at this motherfucker up here. What are you gonna do? You're gonna sit there and die. All of you are gonna die. Uh, fuck this motherfucker. We're, we're, we're gonna overpower that fucking shield surveyor. And then we're gonna hit him shrimping ass right now. That was a dead on shot, too. That was. That, that was a. Uh, <laughs> that was bad. But, oh, with the jump shot, baby. Boop. Get the fuck out of here. I thought there was going to be an ultimate badass constructor down here. There's only a badass 3.0. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm 100% all right with that. Let's go ahead with the uh, unkempt herald. Because, you know, why not? Let's switch it up. We got all these weapons at our disposal. And I, I feel like I'd be doing a disservice to you guys. Just running around with an infinity pistol the entire time. Because, you know, I, like I said, I, I could do that with the Sham Fleet, and I could fucking just run around with the Sham North Fleet combo and just fuck everything up. But that doesn't make for an exciting playthrough, you know? I'm not jumping around, trying to fuck shit up. I'm just like, blah, 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 fucking shit up like that, and, you know, fuck it. But, you know, I'm going to have to give it to Mexican food. Uh, Mexican food is probably a little bit better than Chinese food. So we're going to go with Mexican food because there's just so much awesome Mexican food that's out there. Oh, shit. Look at that. Get fucking rocked, son. Woo. Yeah, you're, you're going down, baby. Oh, he's going to come up and slow. Look at that. Yeah, I, I fought Terramorphous way too much for that shit to fucking work on me, son. For that shit to work on me, son. Oh. Why didn't you guys tell me that? Uh, you guys been telling me that the fucking Unkempt Herald is actually pretty boss. And it is. Oh, shit. Where's he at? Where's he at? I know he's hurt over here. Oh, come on. There he is. Yeah, that's what you get, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I deceptioned right into that shit. That's fucked up. That is so fucked up. Come on, motherfucker. Boop. And this guy's going down, motherfucker. I got the bead charge and everything. 
and I'm behind him with a zero. Whoop. That is fun. Jesus Christ! These motherfuckers with the B shield are just putting me down with one shot. Which sucks ass. <laughs> but let, let's get on. We got a damn interesting films here. He says, Jay, I hope you're having a nice day. And there's a wall of text. And I'm going to read it out for you right now. He says, I have a problem. My friend is in junior year. And he just got a girl pregnant. And they both know it's their baby. But she's saying that it's her boyfriend's baby. And her boyfriend, who she just broke up with, had sex with my friend. Then they got back together. But the boyfriend still believes that it's his baby. My friend doesn't want to be a dad, and her boyfriend does. Do you think they should tell him it's not his baby? Uh, let, let, let me tell you something. I'm going to answer this in two, two different versions. Number one, if you are really your friend, then, you know, you got a problem on your hands, you know? If you, didn't, if you don't want a baby, and that's your, you know, that's, that's your kid, and, and you don't want that baby... Then go ahead and fucking, you know, let her fucking lie to that dude. But if... <laughs> that, that's just like, I know that's fucked up, but... I mean, if, if, it, if the kid gets a loving father, right? And you get out of 18 years of child support, then isn't that win-win situation? And if it really is your friend, if that really... Come on, turret! Come on, right there. Boop. If it really is your friend, and it's not you, and I'm just, you know, making wild accusations out of thin air like that, uh, don't get involved, dude. Don't get involved, because then if fucking something fucks up with that plan, and, like, shit goes to all hell because of it, your friend is gonna have you as a scapegoat to blame you for his problems in his life. And you don't want that, because, you know, you'll, you'll lose a friend, and... It's more drama than you really fucking need in your life. And the one thing I learned in life is the less drama you have, the easier shit's going to be for you. So keep yourself drama free. And next time, put a condom on, motherfucker. Put a or at least jizz on her face, you know? I mean, I know it feels good to come inside that pussy and it's like, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, you know... Go stick your dick in a pie. I saw it in a movie once. No, I'm just joking. Don't go sticking your dicks in pies. I'm just fucking around. But like I said, uh, those two situations right there, like I said, if it really is your baby and you don't want it, and fucking he does, it doesn't hurt anybody for that man to raise, you know, the kid as his own. Because I'll tell you one thing I've learned. It's not who your biological parents are. It's who fucking takes care of you and fucking gives you the love and support that you want as a baby. That, that you need, you know? That fucking whole shit. That's, that's exactly... Uh, what we're going to do here is as soon as we get to right here, watch. There's going to be guys up on this bridge. And we're going to jump, pull out the deception. We're going to... Oh, shit. This guy is fucking me up. This was a bad move. This was a bad move. Bad move, motherfucker. Oh, I, I thought I was going to get away with that. Come on. Yeah, motherfucker. Give me my ruby money. Give me my ruby health. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> this is what I get for not wanting to fight. This is what I get for just rushing through here. And I know a lot of you guys were like, aren't you going to be doing the side missions? Uh, I found out that it's probably best to get as far as you can. Oh, look, here's one of my favorite ones, too. And it's Claptrap doing it. <laughs> uh, everybody says they got Handsome Jack doing it. Claptrap always does it for me. Always. Except the true Bolt Hunter move, because that's when Jack does it. But anyway, like I said, you know, be more careful with who you fuck and who you stick your dick into, or else you're going to get yourself a world of motherfucking troubles. And moving on from that question... The next one's from Superwill3524, and he says, How old is your son now? My son is 10 years old. And man, just saying that, that my kid is 10 years old, is crazy. Because like I said, I I'm doing a Road to 30 series where I'm giving you guys my life story, and I remember being 10 years old. Like, 10 years old is a fucking, you know, really cool age. It was a good age for me. So I I I'm thinking, like, you know, it's weird 
to see that my kid is the age that I was. And it's just it's just crazy to think that 10 years has gone past already. 10 years fucking flies. I'm not even lying to you. Like, you have no idea how bad... Well, how bad? Bad! Bad! You don't know how bad 10 years passes until you've already... You've had a couple 10-year, like, clips underneath your belt. Like I said, I'm working on my fourth 10-year clip now. I'm going to be going on to 40 in 10 years. So we've already got three decades in, and this last 10 years have by far gone to fast. And it's just crazy. It really is. So it's actually pretty rewarding, too, because when I see him, like, sit down and do something and figure shit out, it's like, man, you know, you, you came from my ball sack. That's amazing. And now my ball sack is doing math in school. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you guys. But no, it is it is crazy though. It's it's wild. It's it's probably one of the one of the most weirdest feelings in the world too. Like you know, seeing yourself grow up. It's like watching yourself as a kid again. It's crazy. Trust me. Like you'll see all the similarities between you and your fucking kids. And it's it's just wild how it happens like that. Um, this is not good. We are gonna get overwhelmed this early. Fuck you, motherfucker! Fuck all this shit! Oh my god! They're fucking me up so bad! That's not good. Come on, die! Get up with the Ruby! Yeah, baby! Oh shit! See, I, I want my phase lock back, damn it! I want my phase lock back for my siren. I've been playing as her, so I'm not really used to my zero anymore. Because I've been playing support, fucking, you know, picking people up, healing them, fucking, you know, playing the crowd control game. And I, I really like that. I really like that in this... Oh, sh... <laughs> He's about to fuck me up. Let's go, motherfuckers! Bring it on! So, uh, yeah, the next question is from Sean Lyon. Sean Lyon says, Oh, I gotta repair the beacon already? That's pretty shitty. We're gonna have a hard time here. We are gonna not have fun. So, yeah. Uh, the next question, like I said, is from Sean Lyon. He says, Jay, can you come to the UK? Fuck no, motherfucker. I ain't got no reason to go to the UK. None whatsoever. And if I did, I'd probably be going for Stonehenge and shit. But I, I have no fucking plans on going to the UK ever in my life, which is, which is weird, because, you know, there's a lot of shit in the UK, what is that, what is that, is that a surveyor coming in, that's not good, yeah, baby, all right, let's get up here, can I, can I get up there, nope, oh, yes, oh, shit, that is not cool, what the fuck, it's gonna, that fucking second win isn't gonna last forever like that. That's not good either. There's fucking... Oh, shit! It's fucking terrible situations all over the place. And it's going to re destroy the beacon already. No. I, the, the beacon is already destroyed! No! I gotta, I gotta use a North Fleet or something. Woo! Really? Fucking... That was, that was stupid. There's a motherfucking surveyor, whatever the fuck that was, an exploder behind me. This is fucking tough. This is tough. Um, let, let me see something. We're going to have to go ahead and get rid of this B shield because it's not really helping right now. It's not really helping. We're going to go with the maximum adaptive because that'll give us, you know, a lot of fucking shield capacity and a little bit of uh, move, maneuverability to move around. Get a little bit more health back. Let's use my ruby. Where's my ruby at? Alright. Now you see, I, I could just... Oh, shit. Fuck! Maybe maybe the beam shield is something I'm gonna be needing. I didn't even get a chance to repair the fucking beacon before the next wave of motherfuckers is coming. This is, this is just insane. Holy shit! Shit balls! He's already hurt. Yeah! Do you see how... Fuck! No! That's not good. Do you see how fast the fucking fight for your lifetimer is going now? Because of how many times I've gone down? Uh, let's go ahead and repair this motherfucking beacon. We are doing a terrible job right now, but you know what? 
I don't, as long as I don't die, I think the timer keeps going. So, no, I won't be going out to, uh, the UK. Let, let's try out, no, the sham shield's not gonna help either because I'm gonna be getting hit by a ton of different shit out there. So, fuck, man. Let's, uh, Jesus Christ. There is that exploder, too. I gotta keep him away from there at all fucking costs. Not good. Not good, bro. Yeah. I don't know why the fight for your lifetime. What is on the ground? There's a gun loader on the ground already. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I want to answer questions, motherfucker. I can't even repair the beacon. We're going to be doing this for hours. We're going to be doing this for hours. If Yes, I know, bitch. I know. Yeah, let me pull out the ruby. Oh, shit. There's shit going on all over the place. Yeah, baby. Um, fuck. That's not good. I need, like, an AoE fucking grenade or something. Well, I got an AoE grenade, but I need a corrosive one, goddammit. What the fuck hit the beacon? I want to know what hit the beacon. Which one of you assholes hit my motherfucking beacon? So anyway, let's go. Next question is from Arafion. Arafion says, "Hey Jay, my question is: Do bald men wash their head with soap, sho with soap or shampoo?" Uh, I'm gonna tell you what they wash their head with. They wash their head with soap, and the reason I know this is because I am a bearded man, and I use shampoo. When I wash my face in the shower, uh, to keep my shit n nice and f fluffy and lush and, you know, not wiry and, you know, you you've seen, you've seen the beards I'm talking about, they look like pubes on people's faces and shit, fucking, oh shit, that's not good, why have I not used my deception this entire time anyway, fuck man, we can hit that constructor in the face, Woo! That's not good. Die, Constructor, die. Oh my goodness, we're gonna get a second win off the Constructor. Nice. And he's got a turret out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is this is so fucked up right now. But yes, like I said, I use shampoo on my beard. So I'm pretty sure if you go bald and you're pretty, like, you know, you're certain that you're gonna be rocking the bald is beautiful look and, you know, you're gonna be pulled out. Holy shit! That's not good. Um, yeah. Oh, that slag, brother. That slag. But like I said, if you're if you're pulled out the whole fucking bald is beautiful look, and you're fucking you know bicking your head bald, then yeah, you're probably investing in some fucking I guess what do you call that? All in one body gel, like from like Old Spice or some shit like that. That seems more likely uh, than anything at the moment to be seeing shit like that. Let's take out this fucking su surveyor. Fuck that motherfucker. And he's- oh shit. Die loaders. No! No! Motherfucker. Just broke my beacon. That is one tough XP loader. That is one tough loader. One tough fucking loader. Die! Shit! Uh, I'm gonna leave him there because there's a super badass loader here, and I'm gonna need a fucking second wind here in a second, in just a second. Yeah, baby. Woo! Take off his arms. Take off his arms. No, you don't, motherfucker. Oh shit. Oh shit. Give me that. Give me that fucking second wind. Woo! Oh my goodness. Did we got this? Did we? Why is there an exploder over here? Fucking lip. Oh shit! That's not good. What is? What just landed? What just landed? What landed, motherfucker? I wanna know. <laughs> oh shit! I can get to my friends now. Well, maybe these guys will stop fucking spawning and killing me. <laughs> And we can answer some motherfucking questions? Oh my god, I've had such a hard time right here. 
That is, uh, that is fucked up. But we didn't die. We didn't die. That is, uh, that is a masterpiece of wonderment and excitement. What just occurred right there has got all the fucking, like, all the blood rushing to my head right now. Uh, I'm not even lying. Like, my fucking face just feels so flush after that. Because, like I said, I've been drinking, like, all fucking night long. And I'm just trying to play right there. And that was probably the most intense sequence I've had during that time. And Ultimate Vol Hunter Mode is proven to be an ultimate motherfucking challenge. So, the next question is from 92EEM. And it, it's looking like the Infinities are reaching their limit of effectiveness pretty soon. So... Uh, the next area we're going to be going into, we're going to need some shock weapons. And I know you guys say the Thunderball Fists, but man, I have not had luck with using the Thunderball Fists at all. Like, not once ever in this whole fucking, well, not even in this Let's Play, but like, just using the Thunderball Fists. It's, it's just, it's never done work for me. It's never done a little bit of work, so, yeah, fuck it. Let's, uh... Let's move on, and we're going to put on a Shock Hawk now. Well, I like the Shock Hawk, but the Shock Hawk works well with the B. So we're going to go ahead and put the Grounded B back on, uh, because there might be some Shock Skags out there. More, more than likely there are, just because, you know, that's how this shit works. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the next question from 92EEM right says, Lilith, Bord oh, Lilith from Borderlands, oh, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, oh, or fucking... That's his yeah, way of saying. Give me that. Right. I'll take that. And he says, uh, Lilith from Borderlands, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, or Samus from Metroid. Bang one, marry one, kill one. Go. Um, well, I'm gonna kill... I'm gonna kill Lilith. Because that bitch scares me, yo. <laughs> she, she's got, like, super extra powers that I don't want to be fucking with. But, uh... Samus? No, 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 no. Samus? We're gonna kill Samus. Fuck it. She's an alien. I don't fuck aliens. I don't fuck aliens. So we're gonna kill Samus. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fuck Lilith because we could use her siren powers to, like, phase lock in and out to places. So, like, I might just show up on your kitchen table one day banging in Lilith. But, uh, and Lara Croft, we're gonna marry her because she has an English accent. I like bitches with English accents. And I like Angelina Jolie, and she has dick-sucking lips. And Angelina Jolie played her in the movie. So, plain and simple. There we go. That, that's who we're gonna be with for the rest of our lives. It's gonna be Lara motherfucking Croft, which is, which is alright with me. I'm fine with that. But, uh, we're getting to the point where we need some money. But, oh, look, I can sell this relic, that's for sure. Sell that. And we're going to sell this, get some good money up. Uh, I got the good good mod there. And watch this, I bet you... <laughs> I did have a corrosive AoE grenade. Are you fucking serious? How fucking stupid was I to not have that on? That is just... That, that's... Wow. <laughs> Shit. I can't even believe that. But, yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next question. Is from Jason. Jason Jacob Steinberg. Jacob Steinberg says Mac is the only way to get the playlist through the link you sent me. No, you can get my playlist from the main page. God damn it, motherfuckers! Let me get on with this fucking story. I want to skip all your fucking talking. Thank you, Jesus Christ. All right, no, you can get my playlist from my main channel of YouTube.com/slash Born and Afterkill. So. If you do want to find my playlist, all of them you can find right there. The new layout actually focuses on playlists. And since I've already had all my videos ever since I've started out YouTube in playlist, then it only made sense for me to switch over to the new layout as fast as possible because, you know, it, it centers around my playlist. And I like having my playlist visible for everybody to see. And my thumbnails actually make my channel look really fucking cool because I use a lot of colors in them. And it doesn't look boring at all. So let's uh let's move on. Let's move on. We're, we got that question out pretty damn good. Usually I spend like 30 minutes rumbling around for no reason about this shit. And I'm not looking forward to going in here solo. That's why I pulled the shock hook out. Because there are going to be rabid motherfucking skags. And fucking rabid motherfucking stalkers. 
which suck balls because they are my nemesis in this game, and I don't want to. I don't want to fuck with them. Don't want to fuck with them. So uh, the next question, like I said, is from V L Sting. He says, "What do you think that there will be new Destiny content coming out each year, all the way to 2020?" Uh, I think that's great for Bungie. I don't think, I don't think there's any more to say about that. The more content they bring out on their game, the better. So the, it's it's basically they're they're pretty much bringing out a game and saying this game is the best we could make it on this system. So instead of oh shit, so instead of oh shit. They're like, so instead of fucking... Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get the fuck away from here. Get off me. Oh, no! See? That's bullshit. That's a death that should have never fucking occurred. Is me getting booted off the fucking... End, end of the fucking world like that. Because... There's fucking rabid stalkers in this game. That's just bullshit. That's bullshit. There's a, look, Mordecai's over here tearing him up and shit. He's like, yeah, I got, I got no big deal. These fucking... Jesus Christ. I have no problem playing fucking multiplayer. You know, I'm, I'm fucking with my siren and shit. Shit. This gun is way too slow. I think my siren actually... Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like this? No, 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 no. I just killed myself. I can't even get through the first fucking area here. That is sad. Are you serious? Where'd he go? No! Where'd he go? No! Woo! Alright, um... Fuck me, man. Fuck me. We might have to actually go back and respect the melee to do this because I, I don't have shit to answer for this. Motherfucker! Get the fuck off me! I can't fucking deal with these things right now. I swear to God. I hate these little motherfuckers. Dude! Dude! Stop it! Stop it! Oh my fucking God. Do you see this shit? Oh shit! Come on! Look! He's, he's healing himself, and he's going to run away now, and I'm not going to be able to hit him. He's going to run away. I can't even fucking, I can't even go in here, dude. I can't even go in here. This is bullshit. I, I don't even know what to say right now. I, I just, oh my god. This is just, this is just terrible. <laughs> All right, calm down. Calm down here. Calm down. Let's let's go ahead and put the B back on. I don't I don't even know. I have no answer for this right now. Um, they're too fast for me. My reaction time is too slow right now because I was drinking bears all night. <laughs> These. All right. All right. Fuck it. Why do I keep switching weapons when I actually? You know, that's the whole fucked up part. Is my build is built for the infinities, and I'm just. I'm so fucking, like, trying to use other weapons right now, but I'm like, motherfucker, you built your fucking class for these guns. Why are you using other shit, motherfucker? Why? Why am I? Why am I? So let's go ahead. Where's a... Let's, let's go ahead and pull out a corrosive one, because we could use the shock one on normal enemies, and we could use the corrosion on the fucking enemies that we're going to be fighting that are loaders. I just fucking raged my ass off right there. This is, like, what you guys don't get to see... When I'm not doing let's plays, like when I'm just doing normal commentaries and shit, when I get pissed like that, I can go, all right, all right, all right, let's comment. Look at that, rabid stalker, rabid stalker. There's three rabid stalkers down there. The spawn rate on rabid stalkers. Hey, what's going on, man? No, is this is this your new blood wing? No. Um, you want me to? You want me to go fuck off for a minute? Yeah. All right. See you later, dude. Bye bye. Hey, hey, we were supposed to be homies. Oh, here comes my homie. Go get him. Go get him. Uh, <laughs> stop shooting, motherfuckers, Mordecai. You're gonna get their aggro on me and piss me off when I have fucking like eight fucking rabid stalkers coming after me to fuck me up. That's your fault. That is your fault, Mordecai. So, 
Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. The next question is from Rom's Rules 101 or 001, actually, I should say. He says, Jay, how tall are you in feet and inches? Um, I am 5'10", 5'11", somewhere around there. It's been a while since I've actually measured. But my driver's license says 5'10", so I'm going to go with 5'10". Although I have been known to measure up higher than that, like, you know, earlier in my life. So it's somewhere around there, 5'10", 5'11". Unless I shrunk, which would suck. I've heard of people shrinking, and I don't think I've shrunk. But, uh, you know, some days my dick dude, does feel a little bit bigger. So maybe maybe instead of my dick getting bigger, maybe I'm just getting smaller, right? That would be, that would be fucked up, wouldn't it? To be like, yo, my dick got bigger. Be like, no, you just lost an inch of height. Be like, oh, oh, really? <laughs> so well, let's go ahead and move on. I'm sorry for that little bit of a rage moment with those fucking stalkers. You guys, if you really want to see some rage by me, though, watch me fight fucking Rakai from the original Borderlands. I'm serious. That, that, that shit fucking... Dude, it took me like 80 tries. Well, not 80 tries, but... You, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, motherfuckers. It didn't take 80 tries. Not that bad. But, you know, when, when you're playing after drinking, you know, a full day worth of beers, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta give time for this alcohol to sweat out of its system before you start seeing any type of impressive gameplay. And I didn't actually take that into account before I started this uh, Let's Play. I was like, you know, that's a good idea to... What the fuck is this dude doing? Why am I pulling that out? Uh, that's not good either. Thank you. Come down here and join the fucking fight. I don't want to wound loaders, motherfucker. I want to kill lo- Look at that. They're killing me. They're killing me, bitch. Fuck you. If I don't- If I just kill them, they'll send fucking reinforcements anyway, so it don't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Look, this motherfucker's wounded anyway. And these fucking- Look. All of them are wounded. There's two out of three. Um, see? They're killing me! Thank you, Mordecai, for being such a fucking cocksucker. Look, alright, there we go. We got three wounded ones. We did what you wanted. I almost died for it. Your ass is sitting up on a hill doing nothing while this guy's sitting up on a hill doing nothing either. Fuck, man. Bullshit. You're fucking... Ah! <laughs> I fucking... I hate these fucking things. I really do. There's... There's something near me. There's something near me. I hear it. He's increasing aggression. And ah, no, 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 no. There are so many things trying to kill me right now. And I can't even. No, look. There's a grenade coming over the wall. Over the wall. That is bullshit. Come on, motherfucker. All right. Getting a little bit of a little bit of my game back. We're, we're doing all right. And I, for those of you guys watching, I did not just say gay back. I said game back. Getting my game back. We're not we're not having gay backs. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that means. I don't even know what the fuck that means. But my, my deception is pretty much useless with this build. It really is. It really is. It, you don't really get much benefits in the Forever Alone build. It's pretty much a glass cannon. You, you get high risk, high reward. And right now, inside of Ultimate Vote Hunter mode, it has turned my reward down a high, high, high amount. So we gotta... What the fuck did he just do? I think he just shot my own fucking bullet back at me. Not sure. We're not sure yet. Whoop. And this guy... What the fuck, man? Hey! Don't shoot people in the back. It's not nice. Not nice at all. So, yeah, let's move on to the next question. It's from Willow514, and he says, hey, Jay, how's it hanging? It's hanging pretty low today, hanging pretty low. But uh, anyway, <laughs> he says, I don't even know what he says because I'm trying to kill this power loader right now without him shooting bullets back at me. Anyway, fuck, woo! There we go. Making a little bit of progression. But, uh, really? You're gonna, you're an exploder. You're, you're fucking trying too hard, man. You're trying too hard. Oh, look. Mordecai's slagging people for me. Thank you, Morty. Thank you. Want to slag this guy over here? He's hopping on a barrel. Nope. All right. So, anyway, Willow514 says, 
Hey Jay, if there's something from the 80s or 90s that you miss, the music, man. The music is top fucking notch. Uh, like you got bands like Pantera, Alice in Chains, fucking. I mean, even some of the Guns N' Roses songs was released in the 90s. Then you had like, you know, the shitty Metallica songs and shit like that. But let's go ahead and throw one of those up there and get some of that out here. Yeah, um, what the fuck was that? Whoa. Um, let's just get over here. <laughs> but, uh, I miss the music from the 90s, man. The music from the 90s was ultra fucking, Jesus Christ. It was, it was just the best, man. Like, the 80s had some good music, too, but the 90s is when, like, real high production value went into movies. And, I mean, movies. Music! Music! And that's when, like, things started getting a little out of hand with, like, fucking, you know, auto-tuning and shit like that. But at, at its value, like, like 80s and 90s rock and roll and shit like that, it is probably the pinnacle of that era. Like, that, that you know, that genre of music. You, you won't get better metal than you will in the 80s and 90s. So... It, that's just oh shit that's fucked up did you see that ah oh, shit I know you see that I gotta take that motherfucker out right away thank you um not good where's my ruby whoa Nelly yeah oh shit <laughs> there's a loader coming after me all busted up ready fuck you pussy uh, I think we should just use the Ruby Infinity combo. Look at that. Boop. Boop. I, I, I should be slagging people. I know I should be, but I am so fucking lazy, man. I want... I want to fucking... Maybe I could get... I probably could. But, fuck it. I could spec down to, like, uh... With the kunai. The kunai might help a little. That, that would give me some type of elemental slag effect... From, you know, not having a gun in my hand. What is this asshole doing? Um. That's not good. Fuck it. I could just use them to damage him. That was smart. I'm a smart feller. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Willow. We're gonna go with the music inside of the 80s and 90s. And we're gonna move on to the next question. And it is from Pirate Adam. Pirate Adam, welcome back. Pirate Adam is actually a very good subscriber of mine. He's helped me out quite a bit. So, he says, Jay, have you played Bioshock Infinite yet? I have not. And he says, uh, if so, what do you think? Well, I haven't played it, so I can't tell you what I think. Uh, but I will be getting it for free with the game and PC that I just ordered. And it should be pretty bossa nova. It looks pretty good. I'll tell you that. I am, I am a fan of, like, what I've seen from it so far. Hey. Hey. Get away from me. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, shit. Rabbit Skag. See, Rabbit Skag, I don't mind. Because they don't have that fucking strafe like that motherfucking stalker does. He's like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Fuck you, man. That stalker makes me look like shit. Makes me play like shit, too. Oh, Look at this fucking ultimate badass fucking skag. Skaggy. It's a skaggy. We can't hurt him without a bee. And there's the bee. <laughs> Hit him right in the face. Roar at me. Look at me. Look at me when I kill you. So, yeah, I want to get to the next question. But I wanted to kill that ultimate stalker. Because then I could push the button on my computer. That brings up the next question. Which is from E-L-E-H-K. I think that's Elik. Which looks like... I was gonna say... Whoa! It might be something backwards. But I don't think it really is. I think I'm just being stupid. But anyway. He says, Jay, you said that you love Legos. I do. I love Legos. Legos are amazing. He says, Did you ever... Did you or your son ever play with Bionicles? Uh, Bionicles wasn't out when I was a kid, bro. So, no. I've never played Bionicles. And my son... Actually, is just a fan of the regular Legos. Uh, he's never shown any interest in the Bionicles. 
which is pretty funny because a lot of people that are actually into Legos like the blocky shape. It's kind of like Minecraft. If you're into Minecraft, you're going to like the way Minecraft looks. You're going to like the whole blocky world. And you start looking at things and you start... And you stop seeing the blocks. And you start seeing for what it really is. And that is, a uh, That is amazing. It is amazing. So, yeah, I guess we could just use, uh... Shock all up in here. Look at that. Oh, With the critical hit. And as long as Rex don't invade my territory, I am fine. What the fuck? I thought that's that was my homie. I know that was. I, I recognize that voice anywhere. He was like, and only my voice, my fucking fucking rack, man. Always fucking shit up for me. Come on. Woo. Did, 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 did that really just happen? Did I just really get fucked up by an ultimate badass rack? Um, this stalker is easy to kill, though. Oh, shit. That was an ultimate badass. And, see, that's my point. An ultimate badass stalker should not be fucking easier to kill than a rabid stalker. That just doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't. Oh, shit. Did you see? I've never seen that. That was a fucking super badass rack or ultimate badass. I'm not sure what it was. It was terrifying. That's what it is because I hate rack. I just got done telling you guys. I fucking hate rack. And, you know, what what comes up? The game's like, oh, hit him another rack. Do you see that? Pestilent stalkers. Oh, these guys are quite the cocksuckers too. They fucking jump on you and then they fucking hump you. But at least... At least when they, motherfucker! I just got done saying where where'd he go? Where you nowhere? Thank you. Whoop! Let me grab some ruby health back. Oh hey, hey no, motherfucker! I hate stalkers. I really do. It, it, it's it's officially time for them to remove stalkers from this motherfucking game. Motherfucker! Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? You're a fucking cocksucker piece of shit. I should be using deception, but you know, I don't want to use deception. I don't even know why I'm playing as Zero. Like, Zero used to be my favorite character until Ultimate Vault Hunter moved. And now my favorite character is Maya. Because Maya is probably the strongest character in the game now. Or Axton. Axton has his double slag turrets now, which is just like. Fucking Ultimate Volt Hunter was built for this motherfucker, really. Like, there, there's... You can't get any better than that. Is fucking Ultimate Slag Turrets and shit. What is all the way out there? Slag Stalkers. Let's go ahead and use Ruby. Ruby! Um, not good. That is... Um... Yeah, fuck you, motherfucker. You're not getting that shit off. Uh... Uh, yeah, buddy. I want to answer questions, but I can't because I got this motherfucker coming to me. Yeah, boy. Woo. There he is right there. Get him. I can't, I can't even get him. Look at him. Like, his hitbox is so small. Come on. Get stuck in there. Why is his health not going down? Why is his health not going down? Did you see that? He was just in the middle of my shit. And his health wasn't going down. And his health, he was burning him and everything. I know you saw that. That was fucking crazy. Um, yak skag. Woo! It is getting hot in here. Hotter than a motherfucker. God damn. So, the next question is from Vivek Wong. And she says, why are there so many wreck? No, she doesn't. She says, Jay, first off, you suck at this game. <laughs> yes, yes I do. And, uh, she says, uh, no. She says, have you ever thought of playing the new soon-to-be-released Marvel Lego superheroes? I have, actually. I have. And I'm going to show you guys a trick right here. Ready? 
after we kill these stalkers. I want to I want to show you guys something. I probably shouldn't even do it because actually no, I'm not going to show you. I'll do it on another character and I'll make a video about it. Jesus Christ. Uh since this is one of the most annoying missions in the game, if motherfucker with stalkers, you know, I wish I would rather like I, I wish there is like a fucking check mark that I could put on the enemies that I don't want in there. And, like, if I want to remove a stalker from the game, then I gotta add more, like, you know, of another hard enemy. So, I would rather have there be, like, a shit ton of goliaths than a shit ton of stalkers. Seriously. But, uh, that's it for this episode. That's it for this episode. And I, I was gonna answer Vivek Wong's question. But I guess, I guess we could save that for the next episode. And my name is Jay. More than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. This was episode 12 of my Ultimate Vote Hunter Let's Play. But also, my Sunday motherfucking Q&A Let's Play for you guys on Borderlands 2. So, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could throw a thumbs up on the video, I would highly appreciate it. And I'm going to see you guys later.